Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be talking about fission and fusion, which are two nuclear processes that we haven't talked about. They are different than radioactive decay, such as alpha, beta, positron. Um, they are a lot more energetic and uh, can be used both for destructive purposes and also for energy purposes. So let's talk about the difference between them first. Fusion is the process that happens when two smaller atoms combine to form a larger atom. And this is the process that happens in stars, such as our sun. This is where all of the energy that reaches Earth comes from. Um, it's a very, very powerful process, obviously. Fission is the opposite. So fission is when an atom splits into two smaller atoms. That process also releases a lot of energy. So fission is when a larger atom is split into two smaller atoms. And this is the process that is responsible for nuclear power. This is the process that is used in nuclear weapons. Um, fusion, we do a lot of research on nuclear fusion, uh, but we haven't yet been able to um, use it to generate power sustainably and cost effectively. We would love to be able to do that because it's very clean, um, but when we talk about nuclear power, we're talking about fission as of right now. So let's go into a few more characteristics of these different types of reactions. So first of all, fusion usually happens with smaller elements. So you're gonna have two smaller elements, like hydrogen is very common, combining to form bigger elements. So in the sun, hydrogen atoms combine and form helium, and then those can combine and form even bigger elements but hydrogen fusing into helium is the most common. Um, we already mentioned this, fusion happens naturally in the stars, including our sun. Uh, do you want to mention a couple of obstacles to using this for energy for our planet? So the obstacles to us using this as an energy source are, first of all, it's really, really hard to get the energy and heat that is necessary to create fusion. Like you almost need to create basically a small star and stars are really, really hot. So it is difficult to generate the heat that is necessary to do this. And the other obstacle is once you do generate that heat, oops, necessary, I can spell that, necessary. Uh, once you generate that heat, it is difficult to contain it. So you need materials that are not gonna melt down under extreme temperatures, which are gonna be expensive. They're not gonna be easy to manufacture. So some pretty big obstacles, but we still are moving forward with doing research on nuclear fusion. Um, another really great thing about nuclear fusion is there's very little radioactive waste involved. So very energy dense, very clean. This would be great if we could get this to work. Um, oh, sorry, let's just say very little radioactive waste. So very clean energy. All right, now let's talk about fission. Um, fission usually happens with larger elements. and it requires an accelerated neutron to start the process. And we'll see that in the um, reactions that we've written symbolically. 
down here at the bottom of the page. So it requires an accelerated neutron to start. And this one is used in nuclear weapons and power plants. And then finally, it produces a lot of radioactive waste. So we have to deal with storing that and keeping it uh, basically contained for generations to come. Because a lot of this radioactive waste stays radioactive for even billions of years. All right, so those are our characteristics of fission and fusion reactions. The only thing that's left is to show you how to distinguish between fission and fusion. So we've got two nuclear reactions written here. One is fusion, one is fission. If we look at this first one, this one has small elements. We've got two hydrogens combining and forming helium. They're also forming a neutron, but that's not an element. So basically, we've got two things combining into one. That is fusion. And the reason that is fusion is we have two small elements combining into a bigger element. this reaction we've got uranium getting hit with an accelerated neutron which we talked about and then when that happens it ends up forming two elements barium and krypton and some more neutrons that can go and hit more uranium atoms and create a chain reaction eventually so this is obviously fission we've got a big element and it's breaking into two smaller elements so this is fission we have a larger element splitting into smaller elements. All right, and those are the differences between fission and fusion.